have one wife? Okay, that's the verse, yeah? Okay. Other lower us. 36. Yeah. Do you have one wife? Okay, excuse me, excuse me. No, no, what are you asking me? Don't ask me. Why well, do, 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 do you have a sister? Do you have a wife okay. for me? Yeah, I'm asking you a question. Why are you asking this question? Anyway, 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 it's our subject. Why are you asking this question? I know, because it's embarrassing for you. Why are you asking more than one wife? No, that's good. I would be pretty embarrassed by that. But the first. Okay, no problem. The first, please. We look to the law to find out what was sin. And we see that under the law, under the Old Testament, that polygamy was never banned. And not only so, it was regulated. You see, for example, in Exodus 21.10, it actually says, If you take another wife, her food, her raiment, and her duty of marriage shall he not diminish. That's right there in the law under the legalism. That's a regulation of polygamy. There were numerous polygamists in the Bible. Numerous. Moses himself who wrote the Adam and Eve story, who wrote the one flesh verse of Genesis 2.24, who wrote, Thou shalt not commit adultery, of Exodus 20, verse 14, the seventh commandment, and wrote the polygamy regulating verses. Moses himself had two wives. David had numerous wives. He had eight known named wives. In fact, when David was being reproved for taking another man's wife, God sent a prophet to him, according to 2 Samuel 12.8, and get this, this is what God said in 2 Samuel 12.8 to David, I gave you all your wives. Yeah, I know, because it's embarrassing for you. Why are you embarrassing? More than one wife, no, I, 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 I would be pretty embarrassed by that. But the first, more than one wife. Okay, no problem. The first, please. It's true that our religion uh, has allowed uh, a man to marry more than one woman. Uh, and, but it's not just our religion. I mean, this is a well-known fact that many cultures and many uh, societies, and in fact, to this day, there are many countries where this is legal, not necessarily Muslim countries. I was in South Africa last week, and their president has, I think, three wives. Yeah. Uh, and, and, this is, and this is the president of South Africa, which is a very modern Western country. What our religion does, and this is, it's really logical, is that if uh, you know it's possible and capable, and everybody is, is you know is, is is fine with it, then it is permissible for a man to take on more than one woman with certain conditions. This is what our religion has said, and uh, once again, it's not a necessary requirement; it's just an option. And contrary to popular opinion, the vast majority of Muslims have one wife, and that's the way things are, and they're all over the Muslim world. You know, I would say off the top of my head, maybe 90, 95 percent. Uh, all over the Muslim world, the vast majority, uh, basically one, one wife, one husband, everything's fine. If a person finds this, you know, culturally he doesn't want to do it, sure, go ahead, not, I mean, it's not necessary to, not at all, you're not any better Muslim if you have two wives or not, your, your Islam is not affected, you don't have to, it's not even uh, necessarily encouraged or discouraged, it's a neutral thing, if you want to and there's a legitimate, uh, you know, reason and cause and you are justified in, uh, in making sure you're going to take care of them all equally, it's an option that is available if circumstances are appropriate. If now if we even go rationally, because we're trying to solve mm -hmm. problems of the world, who would know best how to solve these problems? The creator of the heavens and earth, wouldn't Exactly. Yeah. Now, if you just think about it, you know, there's an excess of women. There are.